to work in yes. right now and to become who we're supposed to be. That's that's right. Right. It's enough of this uh, mealy mouth, whatever it is that's been going on. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't care for it. Uh, it's time to stand up and be who we are in that's Christ. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 That's all I got to say. Amen. <laughs> Listen, because this man has a word from God to deliver to you this morning. Hallelujah. And it is important to hear what he has to Absolutely. say for the spirit is speaking and you need to listen with your spiritual ears to the word that's going to be delivered to you today for it is important to follow its instructions to the key. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know I was just thinking Woo. about that scripture where Jesus said I've given you power yeah. You know, it's authority, authority over all of the dunamis of the enemy. Amen. Amen. You know, and nothing shall by any means by harm him. you. Okay. Well. Um, and yeah, I believe that, brother. Uh, mm -hmm. The body of Christ, we 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 uh, we must rise up and yeah. uh, take dominion. Right. Jesus has dominion and over every name Amen. that is named. Amen. You know, not Amen. only in this world, but in that which is to come. Amen. And he, is, and he has defeated him and, and put the enemy under his feet. And he is the head of the church. Yes. He's given us all things. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Um, I, I just, you know, I, I was just thinking this morning, um, I get so sick and tired of hearing about this virus. Oh. You know what? We, we, I thank God, yeah. but we've not heard of one person. There's not been one person in this fellowship or, or you know, in my in my sphere of influence or, or surroundings that has had it. Mm -hmm. But we keep proclaiming the word of God over ourselves. Amen. Yeah. And and he says in here, I, I will say of the Lord, he's my refuge. Amen. He's my fortress, my Amen. God, Amen. in him will I trust. Yes. Amen. Surely he shall deliver you. From the snare of the fowler That's and from right. the noise and pestilence. He'll cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall trust. His truth and, and shield will be your buckler. Amen. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor That's for right. the pestilence that walks in darkness, yeah. or for the destruction that wastes at noonday. day. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee, only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward yeah. of the wicked. Yeah. Behold, thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even yeah. the Most High, yeah. thy habitation. Oh, yeah. And there shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Thank Jesus. You. Lord, we just give you all the praise. Thank we speak you. healing and health and wholeness oh, over Christ. the body of Christ. Yes. May the anointing that covers us, be a shield about us to keep us safe Amen. from, from Amen. any, any uh, harm Amen. from the enemy. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Thank Hallelujah. You. you know, it's, um, it's... When you finish, could I, I ask for a large prayer or something? Sure, yeah. Um, well, I'll tell you what, we're going to definitely have a time of prayer here this morning. And, uh, and, uh, I just want to go ahead and at this point and, and uh, invite Dr. Apostle Sonny Laura to come yeah. up here and just deliver the, the word of the Lord that he has been given. Uh, Dr. Laura not only has a powerful testimony, and I don't oh, yeah. know if you'll share some of that with us today. Um, okay. There's probably a number of people here that have never heard your testimony, brother. Yeah. I haven't. Uh, quite, a, quite a few have never <laughs> Um, Church Amen. Church hand raise their hands. How many have not heard? How many have not heard? Yeah, yeah, probably half. Yeah, at least. And um, anyway, uh, Dr. Laura is a recognized gang expert, and I thank God for that. Don't, isn't it wonderful to have men of God as gang Amen. experts? Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. He's the You know, and uh, also has received numerous. Uh, uh, awards and letters of support and oh, uh, for his yeah. endeavors in the community. He's the founder and executive director of the Firehouse, which is a, a part of the city of San Jose uh, Mayor's uh, Gang Task Force. 
uh, providing uh, gang intervention and crisis response and leadership to uh, at-risk youth. Yes. And uh, golly, we could go on and on. He, he and his <laughs> wife are founders of uh, uh, Star of David Church. And right. Wonderful ministry doing great works. And, yeah. and, and you know, I just had one other thought, brother, because I know you're spearheading the move of God throughout the Bay Area and here in the Valley, you're you're a here too. you're a, a mover and shaker of the Holy Spirit to yes. affect change in the world around us, Amen. and uh, you're so respected for that, and we we thank God for that. And yet you're such a humble man, uh, I, and it just blesses us to have you here with us this morning. But have, have, have all of you have have you seen what's going on down in San Diego? Huh? I mean, I mean, they're, they're, the, the news wasn't covering it. You won't see this on ABC, CBN, or, or CBS, and, and Fox, and the rest of them. But down in San Diego on the beach, 5,000 people gathering to worship and praise God Hallelujah. and baptize people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah. Uh, Facebook. You know, different individuals were, were sending us shots of what was going on. Uh, but it was, you know, it's so precious to see, you know, in the midst of, of all of this pandemic, you know, here's God's people, 5,000 strong, worshiping the Lord down on the beach and uh, having a great time in the Lord. So, uh, uh and I know that's that's the kind of move of God that uh, that our brother is uh, is uh, very active in here too. So, all right, Hallelujah! Can we give him a hand? God bless you, my brother. We love you. Love you too. Chair over here. Okay. Chair. Yeah, use? we can lower it down. Okay. They, they just move the movie with the stand. All right. And what we want to do is just keep giving God the glory right yes. now. All right. We want Holy, Holy Spirit's words yeah. and not ours. Amen. Yeah. God has a word every day for us. God has a word for his people every, every, every day. Every Fear every day. is not one of God's words. That's right. Second <laughs> Timothy one seven. He says, "I've not given you a spirit of fear, but of love, love power, and a sound mind." Yeah. In Luke ten nineteen, he says, "I give you authority." To trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. I mean, what it says, all the power means everything that we have as believers. That's the power that God gave us. And the Bible says in Philippians 2 5 that we should have the same mind in the attitude of Christ Jesus. Amen? When you think like how God wants you to think, there's no room for fear, there's no room for negative. Amen? The Bible, thank you. The Bible says to cast all our cares upon him because he cares. Why would God tell us to cast all our cares? Because with us, they stress us. With him, he walks them through. Yeah. We, don't knew, we don't need What's to right? do that. Lord, I've cast all my cares yeah. upon you. Amen? Because that's yeah. his job. I mean, he's the Lord of the breakthroughs. He's the breaker. He he, he's the one that we look to. You did not pick God. God picked you. Yeah, yes. In John yes. 15, 16, it said, You did not choose me, but I chose you yeah. to go bear fruit and much fruit and fruit that shall remain. Amen. If you look at in James 4, 7, it says, Resist the devil and he will flee. It didn't yeah. say we would flee. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. And, and you gotta look in First Peter five eight. It says Satan's like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Wow. It didn't say he could devour us. No. Too many people give the devil too much exactly. credit. That guy's done. He's a rap. He's on the through crew, and he knows yeah. it. Yeah. You know, in Revelations chapter twelve, it says, uh, "Woe!" From verses eight to ten, and it says, "Woe unto the earth, for Satan has been hurled down to the earth, and that he and he knows that his time is short." Yeah. So he's trying to deceive anyone he can. That's why we don't fix our eyes on people. We fix our eyes on Jesus. Amen. When you start putting them on the apostles and the prophets and the pastors and the teachers and evangelists, that's when you make a mistake. Yeah. There's nowhere in the Bible that says fix them on there. But there is a scripture in Hebrews 12 too that says fix your eyes on Jesus, yes. who's yeah. the author and perfecter of your faith. Yeah. Every one of us in this room right here will have a different assignment from God. Yes. God, every one of us, Remember. he's the head, we're the body with many parts, and every Amen. one of us has a different assignment. Yes. You know, don't follow people, follow Jesus. Follow That's right. Because Amen. then we try to do what people do. 
Yeah. You don't want to do it, people. You want to do what God does. Amen. You know, there's a lot of things going. I am. I I'm, came out of prison, never to get out of prison. I've been out 37 years. Oh. They're making a movie right now, a documentary called Risen from Prison. Yeah. And it's crazy because the senator's in there, the chief of police is in there, a warden's in there, and other business people all going to be in this documentary. Amen. They have me going up on a police helicopter, praying over the city. Amen. In fact, I just downloaded on my Facebook, if you go, there's a guy named Tony Lindsay who sings with Carlos Santana right now, yeah. did a song about my life. Wow. And when you see a little bit about it, Vince is in it. A lot of people we know are in it. It was a drug deal. How I went down. I went to prison for sales, drug dealing. I supplied the Bay Area from San Jose, San yes. Francisco that way, all the way going towards Bakersfield. Yes, and, and that's what I went to prison for. So, you know, whatever you did wrong, God will expand your territory to yeah. even take more. Well, yeah, amen. Yeah. You, you'll do more. You ran you'll hard. And I told God, I ran hard for the devil. Whatever years I left, I'm going to run harder for you. Yeah. Why? We're on the winning team. Amen. Yeah. Right. I've been on the 700 Club. I've been on Jay Leno. I've been on the more. Those, though they're not there anymore. Yeah. But I've been in all those. Last year, Apostle Vince went with us. We were in New York at uh, uh, United. United Nations. We were there with kings and people from all over the world there. Wow. Yeah. They were there, and they were honoring me and my wife. Right. We got an award there. Well, two months, and, and it was August. We were supposed to be in London. They were honoring us in London, and we were going to be there with 25 rule ambassadors from other countries. Yeah. And uh, they were honoring us there, and it was at where, uh, where Prince Charles, when he got married, it was at that hall where we were going to do it in London. Mm -hmm. So now they waited, but they ended up canceling it because... You know, everybody's waiting. The flights keep going up and down. Uh -huh. So anyway, they will do it again. But that's what God does. You don't yeah. look for to be exalted. God exalts Amen. you. Come on. If you exalt you, he'll humble you. If you yeah. humble yourself, he will exalt you. Amen. Now, all these people that come and do things, I don't even know a lot of people. And it's so crazy because God will send people to give me checks for thousands of dollars. I mean, uh, when we came to Modesto to start a church, my wife was working for a company in Los Gatos and went and told the company, we're leaving, we're going to move to Modesto. And you know what they told her? Uh, We've never done this before. We're going to give you profit sharing. And gave her a check for $39,800. Yeah. Yeah. When we left here to plant, see, when you are obedient to God, yeah. God brings provision for the vision. Yeah. Yes, he does. When God told me, I was asleep when God spoke to me. He said, I want you to go to Modesto and plant a church. Yeah. So my brother-in-law and sister-in-law run the Star David here yeah. in Modesto, Ramon and Anita. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Apostle Vince runs the church in Los Banos. Yeah. We have Star David. We have one in San Jose. We have one in Tracy. Yeah. I was given a word by Bill Hammond, yeah. who took me in his office. And he said, come here, young man. He sit in that chair. Yeah. And he has a lion coming out of the wall like this. Yes, he does. So when he was there, he said, you're not done. God said, you're to plant 10 apostolic churches. Whoa. 10. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. And we're raising up in all our churches. Have favor with the mayors, the yeah. chiefs, yeah. the set, wherever we're at. Even yeah. here, we need to keep uh, Mayor Ted Bradford right now. Right. Now, I've been in the helicopter four times to pray over the Bay Area. They took me up, and one time the, the police couldn't get a hold of me and left a message and said, the chief told me that you want to do another Bless the City flight. So we left the name on that, Bless the City <laughs> flight, where I go on there with my Bible, and I start to prophesy over the city. So that's what, if you look at Second Chronicles chapter 6, so I can go there, Luke th uh, chapter 6, verse 34 and 35, and then verse 40. And get it out of the NIV, Vince, please. And we're going to read this and say exactly what God said. Amen. And you know what's crazy? When God tells you to do something, you got to go do the way He tells you. Yes, you do. When you read Jeremiah yeah. chapter 1, He says, you go and say what I told you. Amen. You go to the book of Ezekiel chapter 3, I've yes. called you to be a watchman, and you go say what I say, not what you want to say. So the Lord speaks to me, over 10 years ago, and he goes, I want you to go to the chief of police in San Jose 
and ask you to ask him to take you up so you can pray over the Bay Area. I go, what? I ain't doing that. That's crazy. And me and God were wrestling. Okay. How many's ever wrestled with God before? Amen. 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 You're wrestling Amen. with God. I, I'm not gonna, and and then you can't lie Amen. when you call when you call to make an appointment with the chief. They want to know what do you want to talk about. Right, right. Now I'm one of the gang experts in San Jose. I created the agency. I created the tattoo removal to remove gang tattoos off your face, your hand. Thirty some years ago, and it's still there. Mm. It's still there to this day. Mayor Hammer, I said, Mayor, I can get them out of the gangs. I can put them in a suit. I can get them a job, but they're all tattooed on their face and their hands. And anyone that hires them, they endanger anyone around them. Yeah. Now, when you put those tattoos, you belonged in the gang. Yeah, but when right. you get out of the gang, you don't have a gang no more. No. And when you were running with the gang, you accumulated enemies. Yeah. So yeah. when you leave the gang, you have no one to protect you no more. No. Unless you no. walk with God. Now, when I was with God and I went to prison, the Lord gave me Proverbs 16, 7. You can look it up. Yeah. Those who reverence God, even your enemies will be at peace. Yeah. I did time in six different prisons and ran into enemies in every one of them. And God dealt with every one of them. Even when I got out of prison, they came to see me. Because when you're in prison, they think you're doing it because you're in there. Yeah. Now, I started a Bible study in San Quentin prison where the guard said, we like when you do the Bible study. It calms the inmates down. Amen. Now, I mean, a faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen. In Romans 10, chapter 10, verse 15 through 17, it says, How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Now, when I'm around people, the Lord gives me insight about people and things, and He'll have me, he'll have me anoint their feet. Because yeah. they're evangelists. They're going to go yeah. and evangelize. Right. How beautiful are the feet of those who yeah. bring good news. Amen. And Amen. Romans 10, 17 says, Faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen. You sit under the word of God. And I told God when I was in prison by myself, I said, Lord, I don't have nobody to teach me. Amen. But your word says that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word. I'm going to speak out loud. And I know you're going to give me faith. Yeah. And he did. And he did. In Hebrews 11, 6, it says, Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Yeah, Those who seek God he must diligently seek Him, and He shall reward them. Hebrews 11, 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things not seen, but the evidence of things hoped for. See, when you're wanting to see it, you know, a lot of times you're not going to see it because what you see about your family, they're, they're on drugs, they're drinking, they're depressed. Their body sick, their shoes, all these different things. Second Corinthians 5 7 says, We walk by faith and not by sight. Not by sight. Because yeah. what you see doesn't match up to what God says. Yeah. Now, how many of us in here, God did miracles and healings in, in every one of us? Yeah. We did not come to God, God called you. Amen. Yeah. And in Romans 3, I'll, I'll be around all these business people who think they're better than everybody, <laughs> some of them. And God will say, Speak Romans 3.23. Yeah. All have sinned and fallen <laughs> short of the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Then God says, I want you to talk about the three guys on the cross. I can tell what people are hating. He's a gang member. Though. And God said, tell them who was the first one that was going to be in paradise with me. Amen. Amen. Jesus told that thief, surely this day you shall be in paradise. Yeah. That man did not walk a day of holiness or righteousness, but because of God's mercy and grace, yes. and he believed, he brought him into the kingdom. Yeah. See, we got to quit judging people. We don't know what people's last words are. Right, that's right. You know what I mean? God's mercy and grace. I don't want to be nobody's judge. Come on. Amen. The Bible says, by the measure you judge, you'll be judged back. Amen. Now, I heard a man say, when you point a finger, you got three pointing back at you. Amen. Oh, yeah. And he used it with the parable, before you take the speck out of your brother's eye, yes. take the log out of your own eye. Yeah. And Jesus said that. Yeah. Right. And I like what one preacher said. He goes, take the speck out of your, he goes, take the log. He goes, some of you got a forest in there. Come on now. Come on. You know, I mean, you got a forest yeah. You know, trying to judge all these different people. It's not our job to do that. Yeah, it isn't. You know, right. we turn people off from the gospel by trying to judge them or think yeah. they're better yeah. than whatever. So, you know, God uses me in the, and I don't want nothing to do with cops. I've been in there since I was 12 years old. I went from fifth grade. I didn't go to sixth grade. They didn't want me. I was a leader of a gang already. 
I went from fifth grade to seventh grade when I passed. I was kicked out of two <coughs> junior highs. I was expelled in high school. I went to 10th grade, and when I went to school, it was just to get everyone's lunch money. I didn't go there. And I went there, did your money, and then I was gone. I was out of there. Yep. You know, but God had another plan. You know, it's crazy. I went to prison when I was 20, at 27. I had 19 arrests, three joint suspended, three high police chase, two sawed-off shotgun cases, uh, two assault with deadly weapons on police. They beat me. They put me in the hospital. I was in the hospital for two weeks. Yeah. I came out of the coma three days later, handcuffed to the bed with a guard at my door. And I was in the newspaper when it happened. But God saved me. And you know yes. why he saved me? He seen today. Yes. You know why. Amen. He seen yeah. today. Yeah. And I wanted nothing to do with policemen and all that. And God said, I want you to go. Well, you want to do this. And God said, I want you to go. I said, Lord, I don't want nothing to do with cops. And he says, you need to go. I'm setting the stage Amen. for the work to what I called you. Yeah. So the chief of Los Banos, we're going to be doing October 3rd. It's called uh, Inner City Civility. We're yeah. going to be doing civility. Here in Modesto, the mayor is making a civility day yes. on October 3rd. Yeah. And it's going to be every year. Yeah. It's going to be here. He's making it where it's going to be mandatory every yeah. year. Yeah. Civility yeah. day. And that's amazing. The favor, we went and met with them. Now, over in December, I was doing Bible studies in Modesto in the most worst part, yeah. Martin Luther King Park, and all these gang yeah. members are coming. Yeah. And I said, you know what? I'm going to bring the mayor here to, to talk. How are you going to do that? I go, just watch. I'm going to bring that mayor. Because I always get words that God has given me favor with politicians. I don't care where I go. God gives me favor with politicians. Amen. So I talked to the mayor. I said, Mayor, these guys want to meet you. And we went in there, and these guys have tattoos all over their face, yeah. all over their hands. And the, we had pictures with the mayor taking pictures. And one guy was on fugitive watch. Ooh. And he can't get his name off. And the mayor said, I'm going to help you take that off. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So this mayor is real, and we got to get him reelected. I can't tell you to vote. All I know is he is a true man of God, Amen. and I know other people. I, I can't judge the other people. I don't know them. Yes. All I know is God told me I'm support this guy. Yes. God said you're yes. to get behind him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He loves the community. Yes. We want to yes. pray for him. You know what he says? Don't pray for me. Pray for Modesto. Yes. Humble yes. man. Yes. Don't pray for me. Pray for our, pray city. For our city. Pray yes. that I be a good leader to our city. Now yes. that's a good leader. That's yes. a great leader. So yes. he comes. We were with an ambassador. Uh, Dr. Sir Clay Rivers was with us. He mm -hmm. gave him a word. And, and you know, the prophetic talks about your life. You don't tell nobody. He's never seen him. First time he met him. And yes. God said, sir, God's going to use you to redesign Modesto. Yeah. And then we found out he was an architect. Ooh. The wife was crying, man. She was yeah. wrecked. Yeah. She was in bawling. Because yeah. nobody told him that. Yeah. God told him. Yeah. I always tell people, don't tell me nothing about you. Let God tell me. Amen. You know, because sometimes when people tell you, then you start putting your own way and Amen. wanting to say something. Let God tell Amen. you. Amen. It's the best word you best can get. It's from God. Amen. I go places, I don't want to know nothing. God will tell me. Amen. And God will tell me what he wants to tell me. Amen. Now, there's other people, when they backslide, they try to stay away because they think God tells me everything. I go, he, he only tells me what he wants. But remember, God, if you sin, God will reveal to bring you back. He will. Yeah. Remember Gehazar, when, when Elijah and the leper yeah. man got healed? Yeah, and, 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 and he said, I want to give you all these treasures. Yeah. And he said, no, no, no I don't want no, nothing. Don't want so he leaves. Yehazar gets greedy yep. and goes back and says, my master changed his mind. Oops. No, and God, now know the leprosy that he had went into his generations. Yep. The oh sickness God. that that guy get was in his generations. Yep. You bring generational curses on you. Yep. Where are they passed down? In Exodus chapter 20. Verses 1 through 5 says that you bring generation curses from the third and fourth generation yes. yeah. are passed down to yeah. your children. Yeah. So as believers, what are you passing down to your children? That's right. yeah. Hosea 4.6 says, My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Yeah. As you reject my priests and my prophets, so shall yes. I reject your children. Reject your children. God is saying that. 
Amen. 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 So Amen, when you stay there, Acts 1631, you shall be saved in your whole household. Oh. Don't try to figure out how God's going to save them to direct <laughs> yourself. Yes, All but God said, just leave them. God knows what he's doing. Matthew 9, 37 and 38. The harvest is great. The labors are few. Pray to the Lord of harvest that he will send labors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hebrews 1, 14. I would disperse ministry and angels to those who will inherit salvation. God knows the right people to grab your kids. Sometimes yeah. we try to be Holy Ghost and, yeah. you, and you ruin it. Yeah. Yeah. God knows yeah. who he's going to send there. That will that will yeah. communicate with them that, that your son or daughter is like drawn to that individual. Yes. Don't try to be junior Holy Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let God do it. Amen. And I've seen so yeah. many people wreck what God was doing. Yeah. 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 If you mingle what God is doing, God will step back. If you want to drive the car, He's gonna let you drive the car. Yeah, he'll let you drive. Amen. But yeah. when God drives, you gotta tell go do what he tells you. Yeah, now, these are handkerchiefs that I've been doing for 30 some years. God's oh, blessed me to write. There's 10 scriptures on every one of these. Yeah. Now, last year I gave about 3,000. The year before I gave over 4,000. Uh, this Saturday we'll be at the Capitol with Derek Gates. There's yeah. anywhere from 3,000 to 5,000 people will be there. Wow. We're, do, we're, we're taking a prayer booth. Wow. And we're taking 150 handkerchiefs. We've seen God do miracles out oh, of yeah. the park. I seen God start dropping people, boo, boo, all over the park. Amen. You know, and how many's ever heard about the the revival in Canada? Oh, yeah. There was a revival, and there was a guy coming over in a helicopter, yeah. and the anointing dropped, God. and people were laid all over the parking oh, lot. Oh, they oh. thought someone, a terrorist, had did something. They said. Yeah. So yeah. the cops came, the ambulances came, yeah. Yeah. the fire yeah. truck. Yeah, man, it happened in the parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they thought something happened, and the power yeah. got dropped. Well, in yeah. the Sousa Street Revival, the same yeah, thing happened. Same thing. People blocks away were dropping under the yeah. power. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what God, these people, there's people on Facebook trying to resurrect an old move that God's not even in anymore. Yeah. Yeah. God's doing a new thing. Amen. 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 We're trying to resurrect an old move. They're talking about bringing the hippie days back. The yeah. Sousa Street Revival. Yeah. God's yeah. doing, he's not doing Pepsi he's Cola. Not doing, yeah. He's not doing Canada Bronx. He's not doing none of that. Yeah, he's doing it. a new thing. Yeah. In Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19, he says, Forget the former things. Do not right. dwell in the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Yeah. And now it springs up. Amen. In Isaiah 48, chapter 48, verse 48. 6 and 7. See, have not I showed you all these things, yep. and you've seen these things? But you know what verse 7 says? I'm creating it right now. Yeah. That way no man will boast and say, yes, I knew of this. Yeah. God said, I'm creating it right now. Right now. People borrow other people's message. Nothing bugs me more. When people go borrow someone else's message and make it theirs. Yeah. You don't know how to hear God for yourself? Come mm -hmm. on now. Yeah. God moves to us. We're unique. God don't want you borrowing from everybody. No, he God don't. He don't want. When He made you, He broke the mold. Broke it. Amen. Now there was the Christian Jew, uh, Jew hour. Remember him, McGee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and he was good and all. He said one day God spoke to him. He said, McGee, you're good, but you'll be better when you be you. They're yeah. trying to be everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he shared it a lot of times. He goes, I try yeah. to mimic everyone else. Yeah. No, you don't mimic don't. Jesus. Don't. You know why? Because in John 14, 12, Jesus said, and you shall do greater Great. things than I, because I go to the Father. Ask me anything that the Son bring glory to the Father, and I will do it. Why yeah. do you want to mimic someone else when you can be like Jesus? That's Come right. on. He says in Philippians 2, 5, have the same mind in the attitude of Christ Jesus. Yeah. What's that mean? <laughs> Think like him. Yeah. Think like it. We go around asking people. They're humans. They have flaws. Why don't yeah. you ask God? Oh, yeah. Jeremiah 33 3 says, Call on me, and I will tell you great and mighty things. <laughs> things you know not about. In Isaiah 42 9, he says, I will tell you things before they come to pass. Yeah. Then I will tell you new things. Yeah. So you know, as I will tell you these things. Yeah. And you know, I know real people that write, listen, to, they always carry notebooks. Yeah. You know why? If you hear God. I give you verses, three of them. 
Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 1 and 2. Get a book and write down what the Lord has spoken to you. In Isaiah, that's, that's Jeremiah 31 and 2. In Isaiah 38, it says, get a book and write down what the Lord has spoken. For in due time, it shall become a witness. In Habakkuk chapter 2 and 3, it says, write it out on the tablets. Though it lingers, wait for it. It will surely come to pass. When you start questioning God, why and how come, we are no different than Job. Now, Job, God rebuked Job. Yep. Who are you to question me? Where were you when I placed the stars? Where were yep. you when I told the ocean you could only roll that far? <laughs> See, you know when you start questioning God, you get out of faith. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. And that's the devil that wants you to do it. God's yeah. time is the right time. Amen. Come on, God raises Always. the dead. God raises the dead. Yep. Paul says you have to die yourself. In Galatians 2.20, Paul says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is I no longer who live, but Christ Amen. Jesus who lives in me. The life that I live in the Son of God, I live by faith. I don't want someone else's thoughts. I want God's thoughts. Amen. Now in San Jose, how I, be, how I became working with the gangs. Every program, God gave me the name of the program. Firehouse. If you don't have a fire, we'll put one in you. If your fire is wild, we'll help adjust it. New image. Helping you shed your old lifestyle. Yeah. See, God would give, and everyone became number one programs because I asked God for His programs. Amen. See, God's the one that has creative ideas. Yeah. In Isaiah chapter 11, 2 and 3, He says, I give you the spirit of wisdom. I give you the spirit of knowledge. I give you the spirit of understanding. Yes. I give you the spirit of counsel. I give you the spirit of power. But most of all, the reverent fear of God. Amen. I can tell when people start getting shaped because they start seeking other people. You know, and maybe because God raised me different. God said, when I do, I want you to ask for confirmation from nobody that knows. Now, I've had people I've never seen in my life. I have a word for you. Yep. I said, okay, let me hear it. Whoa, this was God. Yep. I was in church. lady was speaking in tongues. She said, excuse me, sir, I have a word for you. I looked back. I said, let me hear it. It was exactly what God said. You know what God said? I want you to get a number of intercessors for the work to what I called you to. Yes. Amen. Because without Amen. prayer, you're not covered. Amen. We need prayer covered. Jesus right. even prayed. The Bible says that Jesus walked away and went and prayed and yep. came back. And you know what he did? When Jesus came back in the power, blind eyes were seen. Lame yep. was walking. Right. Mute was talking. Maine was made whole. He went and came back in the power. Yep. Amen. And that's what God wants us that's to walk in the power. In Mark 16, 20, it says, wherever you preach and teach my word, I will come in with signs and wonders. Amen. Mark chapter 16, verse 17 and 18. Those who believe shall lay hands on the sick, yep. cast out devils in my name, and speak in heavenly languages. Yep. Now, these two guys, I asked them early in the morning, pray in the spirit yep. for a while till we come. Yeah. How many, how many want to talk directly to God? Amen. First Corinthians 14, 2 says, when you speak in tongues, yep. you're in direct contact with yes, God. You are. There's Amen. no distraction. Romans 8, 26 and 27 says, when you pray with groans and utterance, yep. when you don't know what to pray, it says, when you pray with groans and utterance, he who searches the mind and the spirit will tell you what you need. Yes, that, you and it's a perfect prayer. When yep. we look into God. Amen? It's perfect. We have to look. We have to look into God, uh, all the way. It's okay to get advice from people. God does confirm it, sure. but you have to be careful. <laughs> now, remember, Elijah just killed four hundred of Baal's prophets, yep. slayed them all, and then he didn't even see Jezebel. He heard that Jezebel put a contract, and what did he do? He went and hid in a cave. Yep. And the Bible yep. says that a voice in the whisper came and said, "I didn't tell you to come in." You know what happened? He didn't check in with God. That's right. Before you make your move, check in with God. We check in with more people than God, okay? And sometimes <laughs> it's hard because remember Job's wife? Job's, Job's wife said, curse God and die. Yeah, right. His three friends said, man, he must have did something really bad. Yeah. It wasn't God had faith in Job. And that's why the devil said, okay, let me test your servant Job. Let's see if he serves you. He goes, you can take everything, but you can't take his life. Yeah. So, and, 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 and you know why? Because God had faith in Job yes, that he, he would did. pass the test. Yes, Every one of you, God's giving you faith. Yes. We don't need to fail. 
No, won't we die. fail when we take our eyes off Jesus. Yes. Right. Yes. Peter was walking on, Lord, if that's you, then call me out. Was yeah. Peter walking on water? Yeah. Yeah. At first. Sure did, and right? then he looked around and it says, yeah. when he was seeking, he said, help me, Lord. He yeah. took his eyes off Jesus. That's right. That's right. You fix your eyes on Jesus 24-7, 365 days a year. Oh, there is right. nothing that's not you that's not in the Bible. You, you never heard this. It's not even in the Bible. 